right, this is where I'll be coming here in a few days. This narrow gauge. Wonder how far I can feel the oh I can see the end of it. Yeah. I can feel the air coming to it. Looks like mold on the Yeah, I knew that was it couldn't have been as big as a regular tunnel. Still pretty tall though. Yeah, I think a regular car. Yeah. Just the rock and it would hit the edge. <laughs> Brother Jukebox. Let's see where it comes out. Oh, these are wood ties too. Yeah. Two point six miles up, but I don't know if the track ends there. Or it's torn up, turns into a trail or what? It comes. She said it came to a bridge. Oh my God! A hot shot coming. Bridge over the river. Hear that? What is that? Holy! There's like a balcony up there. That's where the zip lines are. It sounds like a freeway. What is that noise? I think it's a bulldozer. Oh. Where they're grading. Yeah, there's got to be fish in that. I'll bring my fishing pole too. being scraped. Yep. Further up. Yeah. That river is going to come up to the tracks. Or the tracks will go down to the river. I can do some fishing after I set up a shelter. This could make a whole video here. Yep, me and Larry came up to, this is the beginning of this uh, narrow gauge. They hauled iron ore off of Roan Mountain. It used to go all the way up Roan Mountain. It starts here in Hampton, Tennessee. A church organization owns the property, but only up so far, 2.6 miles up. And... I'll find some place to set camp, probably down on the river. Find a flat place to build a shelter. All I need is a five or six foot flat space. And hope to God there's no rain in the forecast. Flash flood. Wash me away. What's that, Doe River? Yeah. D-O-E. Yeah, my last video, I came down the Toe River, T-O-E, this is a D-O-E River, Doe River, and she said fishing, so they got to have fish, so I'm going to bring that little frying pan with me, and hopefully cook up some fish in the next video. This is just a preview video to show where I'll be walking up in my next video my next big long video we're just checking it out right now boy it's a gradual like 1.5 percent grade hey there's some uh nah 
I thought that was uh. Yeah. I smell a. It smells good. It's still letting off an aroma. He's got one of these carts. On one of these track things. Oh, does he? Yep. You can see, holy. Larry said there's a pump cart up there. Oh, okay. He's cleaning limbs off the track. That's where he's still walking. Yep. That's what was running over this track. Yep. Boy, I need one of them. Boy, wouldn't that be neat just to buy this land? <laughs> Something to be there out there. Yeah, I've never seen moss grown still. Yeah, they didn't use rail plates or rail anchors. It's just not enough weight or, or the spread weight. Well, you would think with them down, with them four cars that it would be heavy. Well, they were probably them bucket looking ones like in uh, Harrison Ford movie that what was them movies where he was that archaeologist? He rode down through there. With, oh, yeah, yeah. They were kind of like triangle upside down looking cars. It kind of evens out now. And that's a big bluff right there. That's amazing. They had to chop all them rocks out and then it and dynamite. I guess they didn't care. They just woofed it over the edge. Yeah. Woo. Filled in with Man, it. look how far down that is. Good night. There's a bear down there. Oh, it's a stick. Gotta be fish down in there. Boy, that tree ain't gonna be there much longer. Ah, what's holding it up? The roots are back over this way, I think. Yeah. Look back, over, look back that way. That's over back towards Hampton. Oh man, I can't wait. I wish I'd have brought my gear right now. The tree root goes under the track. <laughs> they just said, hey, we'll just use that for a railroad tie. Look, it even grew into the... Yeah, grew around the rail. That's probably part of that tree root. Look how, like lava, how it cooled. I don't know why some of these they didn't replace. Like that one you're standing on. Well, he said that, so they, he said, we just keep doing this by hand. He said, y'all want to volunteer? He said, we need some help. Did he? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, they're missing a couple there. Yeah. Well, that little old train probably don't weigh much. Yeah, there's some more of that lichen. These are pre-1900s. See, in Alaska, you go out in the interior and the whole ground's covered with this moss. Makes the softest bedding to set your chin up on. Man. I'm surprised we didn't see the snake. That's an old railroad. No oh. <laughs> Here's some old rails right here. Ah. Took up. 
Let's see that. 1800, huh? They just do it off over here. Well, it's just. <laughs> Boy, you talk about right on the edge. Huh? 7.30? Oh, 4 30. It's dark at 7.30. Yeah. We might have already turned around. Yeah. So the way at least we've got an idea. Right. It's a nice, clear path. If there was some other way to get to the other end of it, where you didn't have to come to. The old dynamite hole. I guess that one was a dud. Boy, it's cracked all up in there. That'd be the next thing to come down. Oh, man, yeah. It just crumbles. It's like a bunch of Lego blocks not snapped together. Oh, look how it just curves like that. Probably if you pull one of them out, the whole thing come down. Oh, yeah, it just bury you instantly. Just put a tombstone on your top. <laughs> what do you want on it? Uh, pepperoni. Golly. So pretty up here. Uh, I've got to bring my fishing pole. I'll scope it out when we get down there and see how easy it is to get up in here with a backpack. Wish we had one of them pump carts. You probably wouldn't even need to pump it. I'm going downhill. Yeah, you just be doing 90 when you hit that tunnel. Yeah, the East Tennessee and Western North Carolina Railroad. I wonder when they built it. Had to have been the 1870s. Yeah, back in, yeah. I bet you 80% of this rail's the original. Yeah, still couldn't get down there. I guess you could get it river level and walk the river, but that'd be a that'd be slippery tough. walk. Stuck in a hole. You can tell when they're solid. Listen. Yeah. Get to a rotten one. Sound like a pumpkin. Yeah. There's a new one. Yep. There's a new one. That's an old one there. Yeah, yeah I There's knew that one was good. Well, that breeze feels good. I wonder how much of a grade this is. I want to say one and a half. Well, I was going to guess about a one and a half. Mm, no, maybe two. For every hundred foot, you go up two foot. Yeah. Mm, not quite two, I don't think. It evened out where we turned around. Boy, they are gone. They must have. I didn't even hear it. Quitting time. 4.35. I probably quit at 4.30. We see that was a four-cylinder Ford engine. 
I know that one uh, Matt's got uh, three speed, I think he said it. He said that's a four speed? Uh, yeah. Three pinto and a pinto wind. A pinto? Mm -hmm. We had a pinto back in 81. I remember my dad buying it for 500 bucks. Dude, I've had two or three of them. At least. That movie, Top Secret with Val Kilmer, that funny movie mm -hmm. where that truck comes up behind a Pinto and it hits the bumper at like a quarter of a mile an hour and it blows it up. Oh yeah, there's one thing bad about it. Bing! Yeah, that was one of the dangers of them. I like the Vega. A what? A Vega? Two or three Vegas. I ain't heard that name in years. Yep. I like them. They look like a baby Camaro. Hey, a frog. Yep. Huh. They must have had a a little siding here at one time. Looks like it's still got the ties under it. Sure ain't nowhere to pass another train on this. Not in this area. Boy, it's not quitting time for that bulldozer. Boy, them rocks come crashing down. Sounds like he's rolling boulders out of that thing. Yeah. You can hear them teeth grating on that rock. Yeah, this has got to be two, two and a half percent grade here. Oh, big old tree fell there. Make a good slingshot. <laughs> Launch a kid. Slingshot for Bigfoot. <laughs> I think I'm gonna wear my ghillie suit when I come up here. Boy, I'm gonna be sweating in that. I don't know, I'm liable to get shot. People out here, hillbilly see me. <laughs> deer season's open. Don't look like a deer. Ooh. Hey, Bobby, look down on the tracks. There's Bigfoot. He's got blue eyes. It's looking at us. Shoot him and take him to the taxidermy stuff and put him <laughs> over the mantle. <laughs> it's waving and saying, no, don't shoot. It speaks English. We got to kill it. Golly. I wonder how many injuries they had making braille like this. Making this? Yeah. You know they had to have some. Well, I'm going to step back and get my lung. Yeah, watch that boulder coming off the hill. Too. Yeah. Well, there goes Dan. Bobby, you go tell his wife. Now look up there on the, on, the, on the cliff. Yeah. That's what I was pointing at earlier. Some kind of platform or something. Oh, it may run across. Oh, that way. Oh. Kitty, 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 kitty. Could you imagine blasting this kind of thing? Look at that rock. Look how solid that rock is. You'd have to hide behind something. Look, it's just jagged like. Like it was ripped apart. I mean, look how that's just a solid piece of rock. One giant piece without a crack in it. Yeah, it's not like these on the side right here. Yeah, that had to have been laid down by a sandy river. Yeah, a regular boxcar wouldn't fit in here. Well, boys, what are we going to do for the next six months? Well, we're going to dig this tunnel. 
Yeah. Okay. All 30 feet of it. <laughs> oh. God. Hadn't seen a drop of rain in here forever. Just that. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Watch a big old chunk fall down and trap us in here. They have to feed his sandwiches to the... You can tell these are, I bet these are original. Oh, we've got... Well, that's, 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 looks like it's hand chiseled. Oh, it was upside down at once, I bet, and they flipped it. That's where the rock smashed into it. Well, I thought maybe they chiseled it out by hand. There's another one that's kind of bumpy looking. These have got some little ones. You got a leak right here. Yeah, got a leak. That must be where. No, there's a spring. Look, it's running. Where? There's a spring in oh, there. Oh, yeah, it is fresh in there. There's water running out on both sides. Oh, it's coming out right here. I think. See, Some rocks are clean. Let's see if it's bubbling. Mm. We need to go back. Yeah, down. there's some bubbles coming up. We need to go back down to National Tunnel over in Scott County. Oh yeah. Or back where we went camping that time, uh, they had that natural spring up there. I drank out of. We went up that old Thurman. Genesee. Thurman, West Virginia. Yeah, that Genesee Railroad. We're at the open. Go this way to Africa. Hey, go this way to my house. You know what? I think this is sassafras. Found some sassafras, I think. I don't want to go digging it up. Jeez. So it's a tulip poplar? Yep. Yeah. Tulip poplar. You know, they got, they still got some sassafras, but it's hard to extract that. What you gotta do is dig up, dig up the root and boil it. That's what my grandmother used to do. Well, you. It, you could run it through a steel and get that main ingredient out that uh, works with an O, I think. I'm trying to think how she did that. I remember she put it on the stove. She put like two or three sassafras roots in a pot and boiled it for so long until it boiled for four or five minutes. And then it turns out looking like a, a tea color. It's like There's that old engine. Uh, Saffron. The main, it's supposed to cause cancer in lab rats, but it would take a thousand root beers in order to do that. Boy, oh, look at that, nice. I could sit up there and throw ties out of the way like Buster Keaton. Big old spider, golly. I gotta go around this thing. That damn tarantula. Real coal in it. It ain't wood fired. Well, it both. There's a hot box. Yeah. Watch out for that big old spider right there. What do you say? What size them wheels are? Hmm. Forty-eight.
48 or 52? No. 48, 50 maybe. Well, they've redone this wood. That looks pretty, don't it? May Maker Car Corporation or Magor M A G O R Magor Car Company Builders. Uh, I thought that said nineteen oh five, but it's eighteen ninety five. That journeyman box. Well, they really finished this wood off. Yeah. Uh. Like that wood. Look how pretty they finished it off. <laughs> 